Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another follow-up review, this time on Omega Craft, which I covered a while ago for 112.2 with I think its latest version. Uh, it's now been ported to 1.14, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd come uh, cover some of the new stuff added. So there's a few new blocks, there's another upgrade, and there's a few additions to the textures, which you can see obviously with things like the blocks storage blocks, um, some of the dusts and ingots and the fluids, a few new ones, and um, yeah, a few new materials and other things. So, let's see how we go with some of them. Uh, I'll probably start with some of the materials, and then we'll go into some of the other stuff. Uh, the transmitters, connectors, and receptors, I think are all pretty much the same uh, in terms of from an interface point of view. Um, energy though I think does have the ability for you to see how much is there compared to before where I don't think you were able to. Item looks pretty similar. Um, the transmitter obviously you could put some stuff in it, except you could pull stuff out of it. Um, in terms of filters you've got MBT matching and not, you've got ignoring of tags or not, and you've got a blacklist and whitelist, you've got a redstone signal and such, uh, and I think, do I have fluid? No, I don't. Um, I'll actually take that out as well. You've got a little tank there. So if you wanted to know how much was in some of these, you now can. Uh, otherwise, in terms of other new things, you've got the ability for you to have an internal water fabricator. Just don't want to forget that as well. Which you can use in different machines and put down there, which obviously doesn't use water anymore. Certain recipes. Uh, we'll test this with certain things like the hydrator, but also the compactor, which has a bucket to ice block recipe. Um, and the crusher doesn't have any, but you can still put it in there because it's just a slot that can fit in um, an upgrade that can fit into any of the upgrade slots. Uh, there is recipes though, you can see at the side, the configuration is there. So if you don't want to use um, GEI or you don't have GEI installed, you probably can find most of these and it'll highlight it for you, which I think I think it's only for 114. I haven't found it since. And you can scroll as well. So that's good. Uh, some of the glass isn't textured and terracotta and otherwise, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah. So we'll put this in here and we'll see if it actually consumes the water in the bucket or not. And if not, then it's most likely used for the hydrator. So, yeah. And as usual, it consumes the bucket. So. But we'll try with um, out any water, and what recipes do we have in the hydrator? Um, clear, clear blocks. So we'll put that in. We've got no water, so we'll probably have to add some, but it will just use it less, I'm assuming. So that's just extra. It's got no purpose. You still will obviously need some in the slot or the tank, but um, yeah. Otherwise, there is obviously tar, polymer, and reinforced polymer. Tar, I'm not too sure yet. Okay, tar and alkene mix. I was expecting items, that's why. Tar you can get from a fractioning plant, which is one of the new blocks. Which 
is just steel plates, some tanks, basic IO controller, and some blocks, which we'll cover soon. Polymer, which is two of the mix, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, which you can obviously use polymer for bonus output upgrades, as well as reinforced and a compactor, and they're now used for the ultimate tier or advanced tier of things, as well as zealot, zealot, which is used for making naphtha to gasoline, gasoline to LPG, and you can obviously use that in the corresponding generator. Um, one. Unless I probably had it the first time. Either way, you can now use that. No, I don't think I missed it. No, yeah, so combustion. Otherwise, there we go. So new there. Um, we'll obviously try that later. Um, but we will. It is made obviously like so. Pretty cheap and used early on. Which, it pretty much just gets oil from the world. Um, I thought it would be... Like, if I have to have some nearby, but I don't think any is generated underneath. I'm not too sure, but it just seems to be generating it in the world, naturally. Um, sorry, from the block, I mean, rather than out in the world. Um, if there actually is any oil, I'm not too sure, but I'll look at that off camera. And probably mention in the description. Um, but either way, you can get oil, obviously, with a bucket. Uh, actually, get a bucket for that, though. Or you could probably use a fluid transmitter and receiver, which we'll try. Which is already been set up. Get a wrench. And we should have some in here. Nope, doesn't seem to have... Probably we're gonna, gonna want to use it for a tank, I guess. Because that has picked it up, it's just that for some reason it hasn't inserted in here. Oh well. Um, either way, we'll just put some oil in here and we'll see what it makes. So it's currently making naphtha and tar. Uh, fractioning tower segments, I'm not too sure of, other than the fact that you do need them. Um, I'm not sure if it allows some more storage. And there obviously is a limitation of uh, if you actually do place this in the world or on anything else, it won't work. So it's only for the fractioning plant. And it's emptied, and we've got 500 tar and 200 naphtha, which if we actually check the bucket. Uh, I actually need to go to the plant then. Okay, then. Go to the bucket. What? I'm not sure how I brought it up last time. Try that again. Paddleization. Here we go. Fractioning. So, oil. Assuming that is pretty accurate to what it's supposed to be. Give or take. Um, from there, obviously, you can bucket it up, use it in certain of our ways. Such as the polymerization plant, which we'll actually cover now. So, here we go. You'll need steel, basic IO controller, fluid, tanks, and a cauldron. Which, with this, obviously, you use to make polymer. Uh, we'll 